official watch. Official watch, the coalition in Ghana on the socioeconomic uh, affairs of this nation, uh, in terms of the law, what has been said in the past. You know, when you do policy, you are using easy question. First of all, there's the general challenge attribution. If the Ghana government announces a policy tomorrow that it wants to tackle you know, inequality health, and social work pay credit for that policy, simply because they like many others have drawn attention to inequality. If the Ghana government decides to change mining policy, and TWN and the groups they work with in the National Coalition of Mines, they will alone are responsible. What you can say for sure is that if you didn't have all those voices present on a particular issue, governments will be less susceptible to, a, to, to the pressure to do something. And what social work contributes is in a number of areas. All the groups who participate are already working it provides an additional focal point for unifying and sharpening the issues which are raised you know, in each national report. It also serves as a bridge for similar work being done in different countries and therefore provides a channel of learning and sharing with others. So, for example, when the meeting ends on the 29th, and this, I'm just using this also to provide more. In the afternoon at 4 p.m. at the press center, there will be an, there'll be an open air, we'll do it in the open, public event where speakers will be assembled. We'll kind of do a report back, okay, and also speak about what social work is doing globally. So that a Ghanaian audience can, one, learn about what took place in the media, what decisions were taken, and then two, have a sense you know, about why this organization you know, does uh, globally. There are a number of things that I mean I can point to say if we go back to some of the first reports that we did on say education and health at the height of the discussion about you know uh, the commercialization of health and so on and those who are losing out. So I was just one of the groups that intervened about the need for government to do something to make access to health more, more equitable. We intervene also about the, the debate about the quality of education and so on, which, for example, became issues that the Ghana Human Development Report and other things kind of picked up. So I'm saying that social work is one of the, the pieces that adds to this debate. And for the participating organizations, it provides a platform for unifying voices. Because different organizations have different ways and different entries. So when we sit around the table on inequality, net right, Bantu, those who have an entry point of gender equality, they will bring an analysis about the gender perspectives on inequality, which groups who are looking at it maybe from uh, a class analysis or even a geographical inequality standpoint, may not necessarily have. And those unities allow a refining, you know, of, of, of position. So what I'm saying is that social was hard an additional weight to the pressure that you know civil society organizations are able to generate in terms of putting pressure for policy change. I am always very cautious to make claims that this particular policy is the result of work that we have done. Let me give you an example. 